Are you heading to a foreign country and don't speak the native tongue? Vocray is a new translation app for iPhone and iPad that allows users to speak to another person in a different language. Here to show me how the app works is the founder of My Language, Andrew Lauder. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. So give me a demo. So basically, Vocray, the first step is setting the language of yourself and the person you're speaking with. In this example, I'll say something in German and it'll translate into English. Okay. And so for the iPhone version, you do a rotation. You turn it upside down, and you wait for the microphone to appear. Guten Tag, wie geht es Ihnen? You check to see that the text is correct, and then you simply rotate the person you're talking to. Hello, how are you? For that person to respond, you just rotate it down and wait for the microphone to appear. I'm fine, thanks for asking. How are you today? And check that it's correct and rotate it back to the person. So that's as simple as record, review, and translate. Seems pretty seamless. What's the technology that's going on in the background to give us that experience? So the first step is converting the user's voice into text. And for that, we're using the same technology that powers Siri. It's powered by Nuance. And they currently have 23 languages. Um, once we have the text, then we use our own hybrid translation. We actually check to see if we already have a translation that's more appropriate, and we provide it to the user. If we don't, then we can use something like a machine translation. Essentially, we find a good answer for the user. Once you have the translation, we then convert it back into audio using a company called iSpeech. They have the most human-like voices we've found. So you're taking advantage of technologies that are developed by other companies, Nuance and iSpeech. What is my language's proprietary technology then? So we have two main focuses. One is on making a user experience that is not the focal point of a conversation. We want the conversation to flow, and we don't want you to be tapping on the screen and focused on the app. The second focus is on making translation technology that gets better over time. And so we have, we're using a crowdsourcing model where essentially if the user finds something that's bad with a the translation, they can provide a suggestion. Like also, we hire translators to come in and correct translations. So over time, the translation engine gets much smarter and more accurate. Thank you. What are the remaining obstacles? Essentially, the problem is that language is infinite. And you can't really scale computers to be infinite, but you can focus. And it changes. Yes, language changes over time. It's You're evolving. getting new words and new uses. So our focus is to put it in the conversation because we believe that we will learn from how people say things and how the right thing to say something is as opposed to just a calculation with a machine translator. So if 10 different people are using the slang term of the moment, then maybe it'll start being incorporated into Vocray? Absolutely. So our algorithms essentially learn from the usage of the application. Andrew Lauder, founder of Mind Language, thanks so much for the demo. Thank you. For Smart Planet, I'm Sumi Das. Thanks for watching.